Hey guys, my name is Warbarn, and welcome to episode 73 of our modded survival. So, today, um, we're going to be working underneath the arena. And that's really all that I have planned for today. And, oh my god, my freaking core, my cable for my, uh, headset's tangled up again. Okay. <coughs> so, I did move the dragon egg, uh... Just that way it's down here, it's a little nicer, it's a little safer. So, first things first, let's, since we now have a little over 3,000 Ultra Power, let's at least get the one thing that we wanted to get done, done. And we'll move on with life from there. And, I mean, you know, honestly, I keep forgetting... Oh wait, can I up my render distance at all? to nine. Can we handle nine? I actually kind of want to see how far we can uh, handle the render on this. So, but first, oh my god, no more, uh, wait, hold on. <coughs> if I'm all the way on this side, right, can I, no, I can't. What does my render have to be at to, uh, let's bump it up. Almost there. Because we can see down that way. Okay. Wait, so. Yeah, look at that. Now we can see all the way across the vault. And I just want to see how this gameplay goes with this render distance. Because, I mean, I kind of like a larger render. Because I can see more. Okay, so. Now then, back to this. I mean, honest? Wait, oh, we don't have a lot of uh, diamonds, so we're not going to do it. So, refined evil, blaze powder, and a pearl villager. Uh, we should actually have everything that we need here now, because we have our uh, wonderful villager breeding program going on in one of the rooms. So. Blaze powder. Ender pearl. Uh, please don't we ever find evil. We do not know, that means we need a guest here. And we need a safari net. We're also going to need gold. Look at that, 62 gold. Well, let's just take all the gold with us. Because I don't care. <coughs> Alright. And also, you guys can now see how the uh, thing's going to work in there. You know, I'm actually excited though, that we get to finally use the arena for something, and it's not just an empty room. How did you escape? Hello. <laughs> also, I found out if you like shift and right-click them, works. Hm, who knew, right? So. We need to turn off magnet mode. Do, 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 do. Ah, we need to finish in here too. I just realized that, that this area is unfinished. I knew something looked wrong with it. I just couldn't remember what was wrong with it. We need to finish it and actually like put the, uh, the thing away. Awesome. 
and we need to plug that in. I mean, I want to put a entrance to the outside world, but that kind of defeats the purpose of this place. So, now then, let's go Blaze Powder, Ender Pearl, Gas Tear, Willing, Unknown Right. Unknown Right, but. This is... Right now we're working with Witchery. Uh, that's the particular mod. Otherwise the mod pack is just something I threw together myself. Hold on. Seven by seven by four. You know what? That, uh... You're gonna stare at here. That would explain a lot, actually. It's not a gas tier, it's refined evil. If I could do things correctly, that'd be awesome. Okay. Yeah, I think this mod pack has like 200 some odd mods in it right now. No, just, just a... A few mods. Nothing too exciting. And we go gas tier. I mean, yeah, it's uh, it's a decent amount. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, this. I definitely need to put a new altar in here just for looks because this place looks dead now. now it looks weird without it as kind of the centerpiece. funny thing is like most it seems like most of the mods anymore that uh, I encounter are just ones that keep it running smoothly like Optifine and little things like that any eye definitely helps out okay, just in case we need to uh, reposition our villager Oh yeah, definitely. Um, <laughs> yeah, definitely being able to. Uh, oh, uh, this mod pack killed my laptop, <laughs> so I ended up uh, getting a better computer. Hi, friend. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna try to kill me. That's okay. I just need. Okay, perfect. Oh god. Okay. I don't need you anymore. And ah, come on. Come on. The glass broke. Right? Wait. No. Oh yeah, glass broke here. I think we need to ward all of this. Or find some way to uh, make it unbreakable. Okay. But at least now we have one of these. Sadly, there's no way of actually getting um, more without dealing with the demons. Okay, but we can make a statue of the goddess, which I'm not sure what that does yet. And we can make the Devil's Tongue Charm, which this is what we care more about right now. And, where's the quest book? There it is. Oops. Quest book. Awesome. 
Bounty hunting, and who do you not deal with? Manually submit. What do I even use this for? Ruby slippers, teleport to waystone, teleport to bed. That's cool. Bloody quicker bundle. We can make another rack out of Okay, so this stuff doesn't really have that much use. But the charm. I think using the charm will prevent them from trying to kill me. But either way, now we have one. And we can get back to the regular scheduled program of trying to make the altar below the arena more powerful. Right, can we place this down? Huh. Okay. Kind of interesting that we can place a heart down. Not questioning it. And we are also going to need glass. Okay, so no more chalk. And let's grab some plants. Oh, we also need... Light buckets are in here, right? Yeah. Along with this, which is made from steel. There we go. Alright, let's untangle this cord really quickly and try to get everything... All right, now I can actually move a little bit. Okay. Do we have any saplings or... We do, look at that. Perfect. I definitely think this base is uh, a little big for what uh, the original plan was, but definitely worth it. <laughs> I have to fly around just to get around a decent amount of time. Oops. And... There we go. Wait, hold on. There we go. So this is 30, 90 times 6. What if we get rid of the zombie head? Okay, so that's not going to do anything for it. So that doesn't matter. So let's just put the zombie head back then. Oh dang, I can actually see that from here now. I think we can only use 20 saplings before they become redundant. So. There we go. Bring that up to 35, 58. And if we go grab pumpkins and melons and then poppies and dandelions and all the other things. So let's actually go run over here really quickly. And we're also going to need that. Awesome. I'm surprised how smoothly this is all running, though. I mean, you'd think it'd be at least a little more choppy since I upped the render distance. 
Hey, friends. Oh, God. Okay, there was the lag spike. Probably because I'm standing on top of a dungeon, though. I mean... Seriously, they're looking up at this. Well, let's see if I can get the whole thing in uh, one shot here. Nope. Not with this render. Wait. Maybe. <laughs> this is definitely cool. Um, hold on. I think the above shot would probably look better, though. Oh, dang. I saw him finish the uh, outside here. Damn it. Okay, um, there we go. Yeah, that's one hell of a base. <laughs> you can definitely see where I need to finish putting the stairs down. But, nah, for what we have right now, it's pretty impressive. I'm quite happy. You know what, I'm actually going to take a screenshot of this. Okay. Back to what we were doing. And I need to really quickly grab that, otherwise I'm going to starve to death. And we need logs and leaves. Okay. Oh wait, I can turn this back on now. Awesome. I think after this breaks, I'll end up... Hello. Oh. I'll upgrade the axe head. get a little more and then we'll be good to go <laughs> hi friend Oh, you're an assassin. You don't have uh, anything good for trade. Let's see here. Let me just come along like this. Yep. Our axe is broke. So, let's go get it repaired. Also, we need to make a. Um, Let's go check and see if this guy has anything cool down here that's worth snagging. Or did he die? Nope, he's still going. Uh, fish. Fish.
Do you drop anything into the water? Doesn't look like it. Hey buddy, having fun fishing? Wait, hold on. Yep, you don't even have a uh, upgrade core yet. Cool! So I'm going to make you a friend to gather all of the junk that you get from the deep. And, yeah. Time to do what we normally do. Ah. There it is. Okay. Wrong area. That's where we make books. Okay. Yeah, I definitely need to make a way into this place at some point. Where it's not just me breaking through the walls or something. Okay, so we need iron. And what do I feel like making the head out of now? Maybe something better than iron, though. Do we have... Wait, we have steel, right? No, uh, we have Damascus. Wait, no, we have steel in the... Wait, backpack, yeah? Yes. Okay. So we make it out of steel. We can actually... I think we can melt this one down. Or at least we can junk it. And... Or we can just make it out of cobalt. I think cobalt would probably be better. How much cobalt do we have, actually? We have more than enough cobalt. And what's our shovel looking like here? Okay, so the shovel could also use an upgrade. Okay. There we go. So yeah, we're just going to turn... Since cobalt is one of the stronger metals in this game, we'll just make all of our tools out of cobalt. And that'll be that. So we go to cobalt. We need to turn this off, though. And we need a shovel head and an axe head. Normally, I would go and make a, um... Ooh, actually, since we have to go find the Runador thing anyways, I might make a hammer. Because that makes it 3x3 three three area. And it would definitely work a lot faster than just the pickaxe. And that'll also probably be made out of cobalt. Okay, molten cobalt. There we go. This is a thing that we need. So let's repair this all the way. Shovel. Axe. Right, at some point in time I should probably upgrade the uh, handle on this too because it's still got the wooden tool rod. But, now that we have actually good tools, wait, how many modifiers does this have? Three and none. Wait, this has three modifiers, oh god. Okay. I'm sure people that have never actually played around with Tinker's Construct are going, okay, why do modifiers matter? Because I can upgrade things and make them better. So I can give my axe auto repair. So the less I have to spend cobalt to fix it, the better. It's the same idea with the uh, pickaxe, you know. That's why I have moss on it, auto repair. There we 
Oh. Oh. Don't fall. Come on. And let's put let's grab some more stone really quick. Let's go. One, two, three, four, and five. Wait a second, they can, uh, the altar can only grab from a maximum of 14 blocks away. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Okay, yeah, so I'm just going to go five more out from each side, and that will be our... So within this area is where we're going to be having everything be produced. So everything's going to have to actually be built within this area. Which isn't a bad thing, but at least we have an area now that we know how much space we have. And we'll wall it off and make this unenterable. once we actually finish it off. So now comes the fun part of adding in all the dirt. Now definitely the builder's wand also helps out a lot. Being able to just place large amounts of things, so long as I have it in my inventory, and the template's already been built, definitely uh, speeds up the building process. Okay, so the grass will spread there. Let's grab the leaves. Three, so that's two, three. One, two, three. Let's go like that. Oops. Yay lag. Okay, there we go. We're at 4686. It's not bad, not bad. We can do better though. Okay. So we're going to put... a water bucket in each of the corners here. And we can turn all this into farmland. Because farmland also upgrades the uh, altar power. There's that, and let's go into the tool bag here. Grab this, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's That's broken. Awesome. Uh, I need steel. There we go. It's kind of funny to think that steel used to be this super hard to get thing. And that's why I used steel because it was like the better resource. And now it's just kind of a low tier thing. There we go. 
Now, and what's the uh, altar looking like now? We are halfway there. We only need 10k. Wait, the most powerful uh, circle might that we can do requires 10k. So, if we just focus on getting to 10k, then we'll be fine. We're also going to need pumpkins, and should be about it. We also need to plant a few things. Wait, why does this have two? Okay, that has two. Okay, yeah. My counting's correct. It's not so much that I was going to start getting annoyed myself. Awesome. Oops. So, 5310 is the most that we can get to at this second because everything else has reached its cap. So, oh yeah, those don't do anything. So, let's go wormwood like this. And one we'll like that. Why wormwood don't do anything? I swear the wormwood's not upping anything. Okay, what other Oh wait, we have any tennis. Hold on. Yes. And please tell me we can get some Clint weed. Nope. It's free sapling though. Okay, so this is also gonna spread and this will help us out. Um and if you're curious, no. Um a lot of the stuff doesn't give a bunch of altar power. It's just all the things I have sitting on top of the altar increase everything, right? So I think everything's getting a boost of like times five or something, or times five or times six. Um, Cause like the dragon egg gives like 500 normally and it gives like 2,500 now. Um, yeah, that's, that's a pain. Okay, we need to grow some mandrake seeds. That's wormwood, that's wormwood. Um, oh, we also need to grab Spanish moss. That's that's what I was forgetting. Okay. So, Spanish moss is another one of those things that just grows. So if we just take the Spanish moss with us as well, and let's see what other seeds we have in the storage system. We're also going to probably need to grab some pumpkins. Oh, we don't have any pumpkins. Cool. Oh well. Alright, so. to happen. There we go, and the wormwood is growing. So if we put a glintweed here, both of these are going to start spreading.
right. So, Mandrake Root. 5370, awesome. And let's go Spanish Moss. That bumped us up by 18. So I think part of the problem is we're just not, or we don't have things grown yet. Something grew. That's what it is. Okay. So the wormwood helps when it's fully grown, I think. And it sprouts up like this. Uh, let's really quickly go try to get some more seeds. And so getting seeds in this mod pack is also weird because... You know, normally you're sitting there going, oh, okay, I need seeds, I'm going to break grass. That doesn't work. Breaking grass doesn't um, give you anything. What you actually need to do is you need to take this wonderful uh, Maddock here, which I've renamed. Ah, yes. Come on, friends, let's go. You guys know you can't kill me, right? Okay. So yeah, like this right here, nothing. I will never get a single seed from doing this. However, oops, if my thing doesn't break here, so instead of converting um, grass to uh, farmland, if it's not able to be, it will instead have a chance to drop a random seed. So this is the uh, new way of getting... Oops. Yeah, this is the new breaking grass. Ooh, rice grain. That's cool. And we also have wolfsbane. That's helpful, possibly. Okay. Come on. Oh, Belladonna. Good, 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 good. Thistle seeds. I have no idea what thistle seeds are for. And yes, I am deleting the things from uh, Magical Crops because they don't interest me. I don't care about them. Uh, it's... I mean, they're completely useless to me. Because there's so many better sources of food out there. So. And I mean... Yeah, originally I might have been interested because they're technically a different kind of food, so... Uh, Spice of Life mod would have made me want them. But since I now have the talisman of nourishment, wait, no, it is empty. Awesome. Um, yeah, now that I have that, and food is just food again, it doesn't matter to me. Okay, there you are. Grab the ender chest out of here. I know it seems kind of redundant having an ender chest in an ender chest, but you know, hey. We all do stupid things to survive. Because this is not a regular ender chest. This is. Hi, friend. Bye. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many boars down here. Jesus Christ. Like. That's Promethean, I don't care about that. Um, are there any diamonds down here? No, there's redstone. There's coal, there's runium. Runium would be really good, actually. Uh, more Prometheum. Yeah, there's, there's a few good things in here. 
Ah, oh, there's that mine shaft that we found last time. Um, there's copper. God forbid we ever need copper again. Jesus Christ. I mean, we are never going to run out of copper. That's why I don't grow copper. Because back at the original base, you know, we have all those nice magical crops, but we don't need copper. You know, copper is just a disease. <laughs> Okay. Oh, hey, garlic. Let's go garlic over here. I'm going to plant one wolfsbane over here. I want to grow wolfsbane somewhere outside of this area. Um, that's actually going to go there so I can grow potatoes. Okay. Now we can pull it back out so we don't die. Growth craft milk. Okay, that's kind of odd. But you know, I'll, I'll take it. Uh, let's go. Okay, do those help at all? 55.14. Huh. This side's a little short. Let's, uh,. Fifty-five, fourteen. Okay. And I think for now, though, this probably will be enough. Um, this is just because I don't see us needing anything uh, past five thousand. Could be wrong, though. Um, oh, we're out of dirt. That's. Pod. Okay, there we go. Now everything's symmetrical and uniform. So actually, while we're down here and deciding how much stuff we're actually going to need, let's... Okay, so... 8,000. Rite of Binding. Uh, it's not at all dangerous, so we can do it in the room. Rite of Binding, see that's 5,000, but we have 5,000. Okay, see, this, 6,000. But also, these are going to grow. So, we'll be fine there. So, I think for now, we should, we're probably good down here. Um, so, we should probably just lock up shop. And if we ever need to come back down here, we will. That yeah, calls animals, uh, that's all the power 6k. Yeah, I think we're good. Because everything else down here will just continue to grow. So if we go like that, and like that... Now that we have a wall, we can just pull this wall across. And then pull this up. We need more stone brick. And that will be our little area. And we don't have to worry about placing torches down there because we have the arcane lamps. And those will prevent anything from dying in there due to lack of light. And we could always put some azure bluettes down there. But we'll cross that bridge when we, you know, if we get to it. Okay, there's that. All right. There we go. Hmm. 
Yeah, definitely not a bad idea to turn or to make this little area down here. Like the only thing that we should probably do is replicate that dragon egg. Just so that way we can uh Yeah, it's definitely dark enough or light enough in here. I think we should replicate the dragon egg just so that way we can turn the other one or the other room at full power as well. So we don't have a torch. Seriously, we don't have a torch. I thought we had one. Oh, uh, we put it away. Duh. Okay. All right. Nice little ultra power room there. Everything's just going to keep growing. And yeah. We don't have to worry about the altar getting in the way. We don't have to worry about, you know, stuff getting burnt or destroyed. And let's see here. Is there anything that we can replace this with? Hold on. Wait. Um, oops. Glass. Dark glass, obsidian glass. Wait a second, we make obsidian glass, which looks pretty much the same. We could just connect all of these up. Uh, where's my glass? Okay. So I have an idea. Okay. So we're just going to go like this really quickly. We're going to turn all of this into obsidian glass. So for those of you that actually know what I'm doing, great. If you don't, well, then let's uh, follow along really quickly, okay? So first things first, we're going to need sponges. Uh, where's my warp stone? You know what, first, actually, I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up my damn inventory. Um, so, because I was trying to think, how do I turn the glass indestructible. Well, the obvious answer is obsidian glass, right? Because obsidian glass... Um, oh, we need uh, clear glass. Damn it. Okay. Obsidian glass is the same as regular glass. You can see through it. The only difference is, is it can't get exploded because it's infused with obsidian. So, if we get at least one obsidian glass, right? Then we, uh, okay, so throw those in there. Grab a bacterium replacer colony. We can then turn all of the glass into obsidian glass. I mean, we only have about eight minutes left of the episode anyway, but there it is. I think we grab all the sponges in this little pond. No. Nope. Definitely miss the old base though. Here's one. Nope, that's sand. Hello. I never noticed you. That's an interesting thing. There's a whole cavern here that we never noticed. In 72 episodes, a place right next to our base. Okay, like we saw this, so I guess we did know that. We never noticed that. How did this never get noticed? Oh, that's why. Because it had sand and gravel on top of it and it just recently fell. Okay. What was I going to say? Because I would have noticed that because we placed a magnet torch right there. Um, 
Okay, that's sand. Also, I think making the sponge would be easier at this point in time. Sponge, okay. Yeah, it's just wool and dandelions. And dandelions can be crafted? No. No, I was really hoping I could just craft dandelions. I'm so used to crafting everything now, just because we have the resources for it. It's kind of sad, really. Um, I don't know why there are so many lighting glitches, but this uh, village has just been destroyed by meteorites before we got rid of them all. Part of the reason why we got rid of the meteorites was just to kind of keep everything together, you know, because otherwise everything was getting blown up. <laughs> you know Let's just go home and make dandelions, because I know how to make them now that we have one. Oh my god, the lag. Oh, yay! We just crashed. Oh, because we're loading up the area near the uh, base. Damn. Yep. Same code. Well, you know what? Then I guess we'll just do that tomorrow, because by the time that uh, I load into the world and everything else, it'll be about time to end anyways. So yeah. If you guys watch this pre-recorded, thank you uh, for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, follow all the fun stuff. If you guys have been here during the uh, live stream, then I appreciate you popping by, saying hi, and watching. Next episode, I think we're going to work on just finishing out a few things at the vault. We haven't done that in a while. You know, we haven't like actually worked on the vault. We've worked on things to get bosses done there, but we haven't like worked on just the structure itself. So, you know, we'll be upgrading the dome in the arena to obsidian glass, so that way, in case anything happens, it doesn't get exploded. Um, just little things like that. Uh, we might even actually work on the blacksmith, finally. I know I've been saying we're going to do it for a while, but we never got around to it, so that's probably going to be tomorrow's episode. And fingers crossed I haven't got my schedule for work changed. Tomorrow should go back to the uh, original two-hour episode, because I'll have the time for it. <laughs> but thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.